Okay, moving on. Good news, good news. It was announced the boys are dropping an animated prequel, and your boy Keenan Thompson's going to be one of the voices. Hey, 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 hey. That's there right. you go. I ain't think that, you know, people really be paying attention, but I'll be watching. Like, the boys is our shit. We talk about oh, it. Yeah. They called, they were like, you know, this is like a half a second thing, or, you know what I mean? It's not a lot of money or whatever, but would your client actually, like, want to be down with this? And, man, I literally might have typed, like, F period, U period, C, C period, K period, yeah, like, <laughs> exclamation point. Like, forget about it. So, yeah, I'm excited. I don't even remember what I did, because it was just like a, I don't know. He I never knows was, who he plays. He just plays them. <laughs> I think I was playing like a parent of somebody that's like their power is like no spoilers. Slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some power, something like that. There you go. You played a parent yeah, was, of someone quick. with the power. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah. That's amazing. Sorry, no it all. Sorry. I have to keep my man's job and then in contracts intact, guys. There's someone yeah. with all the like, fucking you fucking Tony. What the fuck, man? I could have had the spoiler and sold it. Fuck. No, bro. Yeah. No. Friends yeah. know when to say when. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate yes. that. Appreciate yes. That. But I'm excited for that when they announced that. And they said they're doing it with the team that did Invincible, which I haven't finished, but I heard I need to. So I only started the first two episodes, which were crazy. The first episode was nuts of Invincible. I don't know if you saw Invincible yet on Amazon with J.K. No. Simmons. It's like an adult. So basically, Invincible and the boys are both on Amazon Prime. Invincible, mm-hmm. and you know what the boys is? Obviously, a, a live action comic book thing. And it's really dark. Invincible is a is a is a animated superhero story that's super dark too Mm. so basically they were like let's do the homelander prequel story with the people but do it invincible style with the same animation and all that kind of stuff boom mashed it up very brilliant of them very brilliant actually yeah man they're marvel universe and in between live action and animation which is one thing that marvel was kind of skipping yeah they're, they're also skipping the video game aspect of it all too a little bit like, there's only a couple. There's, like, the Avengers and, you know, Capcom or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, like, there, there's some good, they, just like the movies, there could be video games with storylines like that. And you could just play a specific character and just run that shit for days. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to put money on it that they're putting it together. They just haven't announced it because that's too it's easy. 30 about. movies deep. Yeah. yeah. Like you put the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe in like a quest game and you can Bro, choose any character and go on your quests and battles. Of course, there could have been a, a, even a Favreau quest video game this whole time. Just what he's up to. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> waiting, on, waiting on Tony. Tony's out of town. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to drive this person. Out of, just a, an adventure. Game. Grand Theft Auto happy. <laughs> yeah, basically like, you know, Crazy Taxi or some shit with Favreau's character. That shit could be You fun. can do a lot of stuff, man. You yeah. can do a lot of stuff. Shout out to Boba Fett. You need to watch Boba Fett Mandalorian. I don't know if you watch it. I, I can't get through Mandalorian. It's tough. Really? I don't know what it is, but like, I just, I, I might be Star Wars tapped out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just might be tapped out a little bit. You probably kept, are. You probably are. They kept missing with little shit. Like, I still haven't seen Solo, even though they say Solo is okay. It like, is Solo is actually the best one of, like, the, the ones, in my opinion. You know what I mean? But, like, I stayed on the Jedi course so that, like, That's one thing. of those Jedis with my man from Narcos was just off. There was nothing special about it at all. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was the that was the that was the the one with the old girl Felicity Huffman, Felicity yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. that I was the one they trying to say it was good, but it was just whatever. The best part nah. was Darth Vader at the end. Spoiler alert. Yes, and seeing the dish go on to the Death Star and finish the Death Star. That was yes. like the whole coolness of that entire. And it was like, man, you guys are just dudding me out a little bit. You know, what I'm saying for real. <laughs> and then they shitted on Boyega, so I was like, man. Very tired at this point. So I don't like my brother's still in it, knee deep. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, Mandalorian is dope. Bubba no, Fett's it dope. is. Movie Bubba Fett is his man. Boba Fett's man? lit. Yeah. So I'm like, mm. listen, if you, can, a while. if you can excuse the movies, the last three movies, and go straight into the Mandalorian with fresh open eyes into mm-hmm. the world of Star Wars, I mm-hmm. promise you, the second season gets dope. Man, if Boba Fett takes over for that, like what they're with Favreau, because Favreau writes all of those, by the way. Favreau Amazing. writes all the Mandalorians and all the Boba Fetts. So okay. it's extremely cohesive. Right. Extremely cohesive. Robert right. Rodriguez directed 80 to 90% of Boba Fett. And it's Incredible. dope. And it's dope. Right. I'll give it's it dope. It it's worth your time. I'll give it that. It's worth your time. Yeah. Um, moving on. Let's share some wise, wise words from a wise man, George Clinton. This might be something for mm. you, Keenan. 
each time that shift change, when the new kids come along, they're going to be doing something so radical that to make parents say, what are they talking about? That was us in the 50s with pow, 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 pow. What are you talking about? So when you hear, mm-hmm. you hear him spitting mm-hmm. the beat, it's the new paradigm shift. And I learned that if the music get on your nerve, that's the new music. Pay real close attention to that music. It'll keep you from getting too old too fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's real. Yeah, yeah. That was a thousand percent. And let, I mean, I, we talk about it all the time on the cat on this podcast. Like, yeah, I'm I'm definitely an old man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm very old. Like, I catch a couple few records here and there, but like, my beloved hip hop took such a turn for, in my opinion, the reckless use of the N word that I just couldn't listen no more, and then I just fell off. You know what I mean? Like, I, there's certain people that make it through that don't use it because. You can't just use it on the radio, you know what I'm saying? So anybody that's getting like full radio play is still like in the zeitgeist and like, yeah, I know who Lil Baby is. I know who Dub Baby is, but like I was sleeping on Young Dolph, you know what I'm saying? I was sleeping on a few of them, you know? So I feel bad in that. And like being in Atlanta and listening to local radio, I was like, oh snap, that's that's who Money Bag Yo is? That's that song? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put all that shit together because I'm a, a grown man who has to go to work and get his kids to school in the morning. And in between that, it's not a whole lot of time for just reckless talk in front of children type shit. You know what I'm saying? And I, I I definitely agree with you. I definitely don't think I'd be playing hardcore rap in front of my like my seeds. But I don't know. I just I I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, personally, I'm single and young. I don't I know how I feel don't. when I have my children. You know what I mean? I definitely don't until they come home and, and be like, turn that on. And like, that's what you're listening to. Like, you know, you shouldn't be listening to that. And we have that conversation. I'm not just going to be the one exposing them to all that shit like that. Like, nah, I love young Jeezy, but that ain't for them. You know of course. Saying? They're not at that level yet to understand what that's about and how it's not a game. You know what I'm saying? To just be running around thinking that that shit is cool. Like it's cool because he has a cool voice and was able to tell the story of making it through. And, you know, it seems cool when you're looking back for him type shit or whatever but what's cool about just all that random violence that's potentially down that road for you you know what i'm saying if you're not built like that type shit like yo you got to really understand it's just not a game young lady lost her life from a white dude i thought it was terrible this is probably racist but it was a white lady that was walking outside her school out here in new york on friday and got shot in a drive-by. So when I heard drive-by, I thought it was a black person mm-hmm. or a person of color that did it. And then I saw the mugshot, super bearded, weird-ass, rednecky looking white dude. And I was like, what the fuck is that about? You know what I'm saying? And he just, he did her dirty, basically. For no, I don't even know, they don't seem like they know each other, the police were saying, blah, blah, blah. So some super no reason. She just happened to be in the wrong place, wow. wrong time, which is the most awful Nothing you can do about an excuse ever in the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading that shit like, so even on some randomness type shit, let alone you're going to put yourself into the streets like that. I don't, I don't play with that kind of music like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't play with that persona like that. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just be playing gangster because you're going to run up into a situation where it's real and it's happening damn near nightly out here, especially in the Bronx or Wash Heights or Harlem or whatever. Like, Anywhere where it's not, I mean, man, it'll be popping off in Times Square again if they don't get shit tightened up. Subway is treacherous. You know what I'm saying? So, like, trying to hold on to these babies' innocence as long as possible, man, for real. I'm, I'm with you on that one. You know what they're coming home to about? They got us for 17.5 on the I guess my point is I've had kids for seven years now. You know what I'm saying? So I've been seven years in the bubble of just, like, listening to comedy or listening to classic rock or Motown or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And just artist after artist after artist keeps popping up. And I, yeah, I feel, I feel pretty lost a lot of the time. But what happens when they come back and, you know, as your child gets older, they're going to want to listen to contemporary music and it's, you know, young, young wine or whatever. And he's scoop, 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 Molly, scoop, 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 Molly. I'm going to be, I'm going to be just further removed. I'm going to be like, I'm gonna be that old man. Like, what, what, are they, what are they saying? Oh, that's that's the, what the new kids are doing. All right, all right. Back to the porch. Gone, gone. Do that shit in the basement. I'm going back outside. 
on the left of the basement. <laughs> <In the basin. laughs> Straight up, man. Like that's the, I bought the basement for y'all to go down there with that noise. Now go on and down there. I'm gonna enjoy these ribs. <laughs> Damn, bro, you like the progressive commercial. Don't how we can stop you from turning into your parents. I'm telling you straight <laughs> up. It's like, oh, those commercials are so great. They're so great. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so brilliant. I wish I could quote them right now. They're what do great. I need two ply for if there's one ply right, right here? No, right. no, don't no, put that down. <laughs> side by side tubs. Progressive. That's <laughs> very romantic. Your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. We're still planning to head out around the third quarter. Press the grateful palm. We shower. Yeah. <laughs> Keep <it> moving. 